So what if I tell you that everything I'm typing here is being sent to a private channel in a Discord server, and the attacker can use it however he wants? Keyloggers? Yeah. Keyloggers are tools that hackers use to capture the keystrokes from your keyboard and steal them. They can store them in a file, send them to their server, to a Telegram bot, or even a Discord channel. Exactly like what we're going to do today. We're going to make a very simple keylogger in Python and use Discord webhooks to send the keystrokes to a private channel in a Discord server. Let's start without wasting any more time, but before that, it'd be super great if you'd subscribe to this channel and like this video. So here is my keylogger file. I've already written one. I'm going to teach you each and every part, so don't worry. But first, let me show you how it works. So imagine you're inside a system, and now you want to set up this keylogger. What you can do is run this file using Python and we're good to go. Now whatever the victim types wherever in his system, it'll reach a separate channel in the Discord server. Okay, so I've opened the keylogger file with my sublime text editor, and I'm going to break it down for you. Alright, so if you'd carefully look at the first two lines of the file, we've imported two modules. First is the keyboard module, which is going to capture the keystrokes, and second is the requests module which will help us send the data to our Discord webhook. These two modules need to be installed on your system. I'm going to show you how you can install them using pip in a moment. But first, if you look at the fourth line of the script, you'll see a variable named webhook. We need to add our Discord webhook URL here. I'm going to show you how to get one in a moment. Next, I've made a variable named buffer, which is going to store our keystrokes before we send them to the Discord channel. After this, we start our send function, which will send our keystrokes to the Discord channel. This has a variable named payload, which defines content as the key for the data we're going to send via post request. In the next line, we finally use our request module to send the data using the post method to the webhook. The next function is where we capture keystrokes. I've given it the name log, I don't know why, but I did. In the next line, I told it to make the buffer variable global, and after that, we start our conditional statements. So this conditional statement tells the program that if the user presses enter on the keyboard, send all the data to the webhook. We also define a few more things, but it will only send the data when the user presses enter on the keyboard. At the end, we've got two lines. The first line captures the keystrokes and the last line waits for the user to enter the data. So these were the codes for a simple keylogger in Python. I'm not going to provide you with the code, because it will lure skids and they can misuse it. But if you're a serious learner, you can check out my guide through the link in the description. I've put all the code along with the installation method over there. Anyway, now let's see how we can get a Discord webhook. To get a Discord webhook, it's important for you to have a Discord account first. Once you've got a Discord account, what you can do is create a new private server, just like the one I created here. You'll see a general channel in the text channels of your server, you can create more channels, but for now, we're going to use this default one. Click on the gear icon, then click on integrations, now click on webhooks. I've already created one, but you can click on new webhook, and then you can copy the webhook URL. But don't share your webhook URL with anyone. I'm going to show you in a while why you shouldn't do that. Okay, so once you've got your webhook, come back to your Python file and paste your webhook right at this place between double quotes as I mentioned before. This variable stores our webhook. Once you're done with this, you can save the file. Now we're almost finished, but we still have to install the requirements for the program to run. Remember those two modules we used in the logger file? We need to install them first on our computer before we use them, otherwise our script will throw an error. So type this command. I'll try to put it in the description box below. This will start downloading those two modules, and once it's done, we're almost ready to take off. All right, so it's done. Now let's test our tool and see if it's working or not. Type sudo, then python3, obviously, because it's a Python file, and then the file name. It will ask you for your password, and once you enter it, our keylogger is running live. The keyboard module we used in the file requires root permission because it captures keystrokes from every application running on your operating system, not just the terminal. So sudo is required. By the way, I'm doing all this on my own computer to teach you how a simple Python file can steal all of your keyboard inputs. So YouTube, I'm not doing anything illegal, please don't send me a strike, 
And guys, don't try this on anyone else's computer. Not just because it's illegal, but because you can be trolled. I'm going to show you in a while how. Well, anyways, our keylogger is running now. I've opened two different browsers side by side. On one side, I'm running my Discord server where I'll monitor keylogs, and on the other one, I'm going to search a few things. You see, it's capturing the input from our keyboard and sending it to that Discord channel. Another cool thing I noticed about this keylogger is that it was capturing every keystroke. Doesn't matter which application I was typing in. While making this video, my Kali went into sleep mode, and when I logged back in, the script was still running in the background, and it captured my password. All right, so now let me show you how a leaked Discord webhook can destroy your Discord server. I've made a script. I'm not going to show you the code because it's dangerous and can be used to harm people. I'm doing this for educational purposes on my own computer and Discord server, so it's okay. Now let's carefully see what's going to happen when I run this script. You see, we're receiving a bundle of messages. A person can be DDoSed this way. So, it's better not to share your Discord webhook with anyone unless they're completely trusted, or just destroy your webhook right after using it. Not only this, but someone with a malicious mind can do even worse. So stay vigilant. This was just an example of a simple keylogger. Real examples can be even worse. We can add more things inside it, like window tracking, which tells us which application the user is typing in, screenshot capture features, microphone access, webcam snapshots, and a persistence mechanism to the script. I'm going to add all of these features to my script. Also, if you guys have any more ideas on how we can make this thing more advanced, let me know in the comments section. Right now, this script works only on Linux. I don't know if the same thing would work on Windows or not, but we can create one for Windows and Android too. So let me know if you want a video on that as well. All right, so this was our little video on keyloggers how they capture keystrokes and how they can send them to something as simple as Discord. In advanced attacks, attackers mostly use things like their own web server for stealing logs, because using Discord can be dangerous for them, as I've shown you. In the next video, I'm going to bring you even cooler stuff. So subscribe to the channel and like this video. Show your support, and don't forget to check out the guide through the link in the description. It will surely help you out if you're serious about cybersecurity, Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.